Okay, this is the Red Bubble um, website here. And you can see here at the very top, they have sell your art, login, sign up. So you can click here to sell your art and it will take you and, and show you something about you know, selling your art, about how it's a global marketplace for independent artists. And they'll tell you a little bit about some of the different things that they sell here and how you set, they have a base price, you set your margin and they do your retail price. And um, they talk here a little bit about what Redbubble does. You know, you create, you upload the images, they handle the transactions, they coordinate the printing, they arrange for delivery, and then basically you get paid. So Redbubble is basically free. You would just go here and you'd sign up and you join Redbubble. And uh, that would basically be about it. How you would either you know, log in or you would sign up. So already here, I'm already signed up. This is on my um, this is on my actual website here, AnitaLouiseArt.com, and I have a buy now button and I have a buy now on Redbubble because I also sell on Fine Art America and Redbubble. So this is my Redbubble site. Now this is where my criticism is that those of you that read my blog is I don't like how it cuts this off right here, and I've got to. Um, I've got to get somebody to go into the back end to help me try to try to fix that. But I don't like the way that just sort of cuts off. I am not really great about how their images are all, um, you know, laid out here. And, you know, there's a random price here. This is obviously for the scarf. There's, you know, some other, you know, random prices here. But this one comes up to 106. So, you know, that's the comforter that's showing there. But it doesn't really show it's a comforter. You know, so you don't know what what is really being priced here I don't I don't really feel I don't really I don't really like that when people go to my website and they don't really know what's going on here and this you know kind of seems to change a little bit this again it, this again probably is a comforter for $95 or the blanket so you don't really know so let's say for example these these uh, flower ones here so we're gonna click on that right now and um, so it takes me here to the, you know, to the different mugs and there's some mugs down here and there, then people can see here are some other things that the Red Flowers is available on. And right down here, they can view all the different products that you can see all the different products here that the, that the, um, that it's all available on that I, you know, is, would put, that I put it on. And then they can click on to each one of these and then they can see what the price is and how much it will cost and things like that. So you can basically set up, you know, your art on a bunch of different products, which is what I I like that quite a bit because I think that's really quite a great thing to have. So what I um, I don't like though is like so people go here. Let's say, oh, I really like this mug, but I'd like to see what else Anita Louise, you know, art has in this mug here. So they go up here and they go to the accessories and they say like, oh. Let's look so at some more water bottles. And they click in on the water bottles. Look at everybody else's comes up, not mine. You know, so now suddenly they're off my site already. You know, they're, they're already off my site and they're onto somebody else's site. I personally do not like that. You know, I think it's really easy for people to get off of your site and to go to other people's site. So you could do, you know, all the promotion and everything and you know they can get off your site very easily. Also down here, they have you know things for other people's too. So you know they have one of mine here, another one of mine, but then you know all these others are other people. So you know again, it can be very easy for people to get off of your site and to um, you know not be able to really um, you know not not to be able to really buy. Um, you know, not to really buy on this. The delivery here is showing Vietnam for these dates because I'm actually now presently in Vietnam and my computer knows that. So, um, but if it was in America, it would be actually a, um, a shorter time. So that is one of my, my complaints with the red bubble is, is basically how this is really set up up here and how it's very easy for people to get off of your site and onto somebody else's site. Now, when you're on, um, 
red bubble, for example, here, this is another one of mine that, that's here. And you can see down here, they show up exactly what else is available. And then the same thing, uh, the same thing there. So, you know, you go into your, um, I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna go into my, actually to my back page now and to be able to show you um, exactly what what you can do when you log in into your back page on to the website. This is the way the back end kind of of my page looks. Up here you'll see um, where I've done my photo here. I can go to the Need Louise Art right up here to my to my dashboard. I set up this um, banner here. Now this banner needs to be a certain quality or it, the first one I did was kind of fuzzy which I didn't really like at all. You know, down here you can see you know some of my different designs. It says I have 32 designs. You can um, go in and you can do a profile here. Um, you know, with different different types of things here. I've just set it up so I don't really have any. Uh, you know, many I haven't really worked that much on so many followers and different things. So um, down here you, know, you can manage your portfolio, uh, which um, you know here's all my you know, different ones that I've uploaded now. And, and this is one of the things that I do like about Redbubble. If you can go here and you go into promote, and I really love how it um, it will show exactly, you know, uh, how it's going to look on the piece itself. So this this really um, you know is great for you to be able to do your own you know type of promotion. So you know I might go on here and I might just say. You know, I want to download this image and then it will download the image for me. So there'll be different images here, the bath mat even. You can kind of decide which one you want to download to promote. And you know, maybe this one might look good. So you can, you know, then download that. I really like that about Redbubble and how they give you all these different ways that you can um, promote your, your artwork. I think that's one of the really positive things about them. Um, you know, down here too is like different, you can find different groups that you can do, different challenges, um, you can write a blog. So this is, you know, basically the, the back end of, you know, how, how the, you know, the dashboard looks for you, like, you know, how much money have you earned, how much have you sold, and, you know, and, and to be honest with you, you know, you have, you have to work hard to be able to earn much money on this at all. So I would say that my overall assessment of Redbubble is that it is worth doing. It doesn't cost you anything, but you're going to have to work to be able to get your products out there and get it promoted, just like anything else that you would do. That there are certain things about the website I don't like, and there are things about the website that I like. But overall, I think that it's worth it for any artist to try to um, you know, photograph their artwork, get it up there, and uh, see what sales you can get because it won't hurt for you to be able to do it. It does give you some added exposure. It um, lets people know a little bit about you and um, who you are as an artist. You're able to write your bio up there and you're able to uh, link it to your website without having to, um, you know, without too much complication. And, and then if it starts to sell, you can maybe look at doing something like a, um, I'm going to one of the other sites that will print for you and you sell just off of your website itself. The bad part about this, of course, also is that you cannot keep the names. You don't know really who bought from you. So you lose that completely and that you are not sure um, who has bought your thing. So you can't go back again and say, hey, I have this new product. Would you like to buy it? So there again, you're going to have to work a lot of different angles to be able to sell your art. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this video, so please do press subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you go on to our website, anitalouiseart.com, you can sign up for our newsletter and we'll send you information about other things which is um, going on with the art or other ideas for you to be able to sell your art as an artist. Or There's lots of great blogs with lots of information and just information about art in general. Uh, we look forward to um, hearing from you and have a great day.